The NBA playoffs mean next level basketball. Get ready for all the action by betting at Play In Tournament with DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NBA National Basketball Association. New customers can bet $5 on any team to win and get $150 in free bets instantly. That means right now, you clinch a win no matter what. All DraftKings Sportsbook customers also can bet on NBA hoops with the same game parlays. Combine multiple bets from the same game for a bigger payout. The more legs you add, the more money you can win. Plus, for each day of the play-in, get a risk-free bet up to $10 if your same-game parlay doesn't hit. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now. Use promo code GETSOME. Bet $5 on any NBA team to win their game during the play-in tournament and get $150 in free bets instantly. Again, that's promo code GETSOME at DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NBA. Minimum age and eligibility restrictions apply. See show notes for details. Hey, what's up? This is Gary Oden. My guest this week is Harlan Williams. I, uh, I don't think we've ever, like, sat down and talked. No, no. And I don't know that uh, we ever had the chance, did we? I don't know. I remember... When I first got to L.A., like, late 90s, uh, I'd see you at the Laugh Factory, but I was, you know, when you're open micing, yeah. you don't want to really approach people. You just kind of fall back and watch and then hope they, every now and then you can talk or somebody introduces you. Right. So I think we got introduced a few times, but nothing okay. crazy. Okay, okay. Well, because we you were with Barry Katz for a while, right? Uh, no. Or you, I don't know, I saw you at the, you were asking about Barry Katz one night at the Laugh Factory. Oh, okay. I know what it was. You what? waved at him. Sorry about that. I wa- Okay, okay. <laughs> I, saw, I was getting from Montreal, and you yeah. like pulled up in a big truck. You like, Barry! <laughs> you waved, and I waved. Yes, yeah, yeah. so that's how we met. Yeah. Well, through a wave. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Primitive. How primitive. Those days are gone. Just a wave, and now it's everything you remember through that? your phone. I, 99? I, uh, <laughs> I remember waving and somebody threw a grapefruit at me. Was no. that you? No, it wasn't me. Okay. <laughs> that's very, that was my that was my Harlan Williams. Oh, I just met Harlan. That's how I took it. Threw a wave out <laughs> yeah. the way. Walking down the street. Walking out of Laugh Factory with buried cats. And then you pulled up. Yeah, I remember using a big old truck though. Yeah, probably a black uh, Dodge Ram. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I drove, Dodge so, Ram. At least I do remember that. Yeah, that's, the story's that's accurate. wild. Wow. Yeah. I like I like the concept of uh, waving. That's yeah. nice. It's it's very Norman Rockwell, you yeah. know. <laughs> right? Hey. You get all your shows just as soon as you get up there. How are you, guy? Hey. Give everyone an individual wave in the audience. Yeah, it's just so <laughs> point so yeah. real. It's like a feeling you connect, right? Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of driving, oh my God, do I look a little stressed? No, you always look the same. I know, but driving over here. In my truck, I, uh, have you ever hit a, an animal? No. I mean, obviously, a bird's run into the windshield. I uh, hit a, a dog on the way over here, and... Uh, You're lying. No, I hit a dog. Like, did you stop? I couldn't stop because I was running late, but I saw... <laughs> <laughs> well, there's a dead dog? Well, I don't know that it's dead, but something's dead. Here's what happened. <laughs> I'm wailing to get here in my truck. I don't see the dog. I hit the damn dog. It, I don't know if it's dead. It bounces down into a ditch. Bounces up, and there was some twins riding bicycles going by. The dog hit the twins, <laughs> and I think I killed some twins. What? <laughs> and I would have seen the dog if I hadn't been looking out the window waving at somebody <laughs> as I went by. It probably take you oh. back to 99. God, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Is that Gary? <laughs> so how Brutal. do you? Brutal. Did you grow, not to disregard the dead dog and dead twin stories. Like no, if, I, if I get on KTLA today yeah, and the news is like, Two twins are dead. Right. That's me. That's my work. That's my work. (laughs) Uh, A Rottweiler, by the way, if anyone's missing a Rottweiler. (laughs) The yellow collar. 
Uh, That's the problem with you, man. I don't ever know if you're serious or not. Like, you're, even when you're stand-up stories, I'm like, is that, did that really happen? Did that really happen? Like, now I'm like this. I don't think you killed two twins, but I think you might have hit a dog. I, I did hit the dog. That part was for real. A Rottweiler? A Rottweiler. They probably, it's probably okay. But they're big. They got their big, big skulls. They got big skulls, and uh, I'll look on the way back and see if it's there. And <laughs> if it is, I'll uh, maybe scoop it up and take it to the Arby's drive through <laughs> Rottweilers love roast beef. <laughs> I'm telling you, they love it. Does they your, love roast. They love meat, but they love roast beef. Does your truck have a dent? Uh, it does. It does. Judy's uh, sitting out there waiting for me. I'm dating her. So now, now I want to go look at your truck. Can somebody go look at his truck, see if it's got a dent? Well, <laughs> she's in there. I'm the dog's in there? No, Judy Dent. I, oh. I date older women. <laughs> I like, I like cougars. <laughs> Well, if you're going to laugh at my girlfriend, maybe this uh, isn't the forum for me. <laughs> my fault. <laughs> wow. I'm real, bro. Guy can't like an older lady anymore or what? Sorry about that. That's really old. Yeah, but it's Judy Dent, bro. That's like James Bond. I guess I'd be like Tina Turner. It's, it's well, too. she's completely different color, but sort of. But the can same. you imagine sleeping with Tina Turner? How wild that would be! That would be. I'm your private yeah. dancer, <laughs> Deutschmarks a dollar. And then there's one part in the song. I don't know if your crew can tap it, but she goes, ah. Yeah. <laughs> and I always that that song was so sexy, but then at that yeah. moment, I pitched her sitting on the toilet, <laughs> dropping a giant brown trout, <laughs> Just, like a Thanksgiving ah. swirler. <laughs> <laughs> Deutschmarks are dollars. American Express will do nothing. Ah. And then just put a toilet flush behind yeah. that sound, and I think that song's complete. <laughs> or, yeah. or, or she's trying to flush out one of the condoms that was in on the toilet. <laughs> oh. A condom? Private dancer, man. Oh, oh, got it. Okay, yeah. so she had one stuck up there. Yeah. She's a private dancer. She's dancer a private for da money. Do what you, you want, want me, me to, to do. do. Right. Guy, yeah, should, that, wanna... should that song really just be called I'm Your Private Whore? I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> I was thinking bang yeah. hit it from the back. I'm your Think about, private whore. Well, this song came out in 85. Yeah. And basically she's telling the whole adult dancer stripper porn industry kind of in one song. But she did so classy, we didn't pick up on it. I wonder if you got her in a Motel 6 in the middle of the night, she jumps on the bed, throws her wings open and goes, welcome to the Thunderdome. Because <laughs> that would be hot. I might upgrade to a red roof in yeah. for that action. <laughs> I forgot she was in Mad Max Thunderdome. That, well, was, that was a great song, too. What was this song uh, with all the kids? We don't need another hero. We don't need another hero. Hello. <laughs> or as Jared sings, we don't need another hero sandwich. <laughs> can I, okay, can I segue into a funny Jared story? Yeah, what, Jared from Subway? Yeah. <laughs> wow. So, so I, I think there's two topics, either fat pants or little boys. Yeah. Which joke is it? Well, this is before what's, this is when he lost the fat pants. Okay. So he had some confidence, so he would go after the little boys. Okay, let's hear it. So I'm in, I'm in Indianapolis, and I'm, it's right before a Colts game, and I'm walking on the field pregame, and the crowd goes nuts. And I'm going, oh, shit, I'm popular in Indianapolis. Right. I look behind me, Jared's there. They're going us for Jared. And they, this guy's taking selfies and asking, hey, how old's your son? Things like that. Oh, my God. <laughs> so they let Jared walk out in front of baby uh, horses? <laughs> <laughs> you said a Colts game, right? Colts. <laughs> I was so lost, Harlan. Well, you said a Colts game. The Indianapolis Colts, the football team. Oh, good God. Okay, because I'm like, to put a child pervert in front of those hairy youths, <laughs> uh, that's inappropriate. Inappropriate. I can't. I don't know what to say because you're going to twist it. <laughs> well, that's what Jared said. Yeah. <laughs> 
You like my set? <laughs> Do you like my set? I love your set. Although, yeah. can I say, no offense, you're a handsome guy, but this looks like you're about to chew through a pride of lions. Yeah. yeah. I mean, those teeth. <laughs> Holy God, have you ever gone snorkeling and seen a parrotfish, bro? Do you no, eat, I don't even know what a parrotfish is. They eat coral. Let me pull that up. I mean, you're a, this, I don't know if this is doing you justice. <laughs> I, don't, I don't have any space in between. I know, that's either. what parrot, parrotfish have the exact same look. It's just one. Do you ever snorkel? Mm -mm. Oh. How so, did you pull that? Harlan, how the fuck did you pull that out? I see what I brain. see. A I see what fish. I see. Look. <laughs> I'm your private it's, parrot fish. I'll so dance for <laughs> some coral. <sighs> and then fart bubbles. <laughs> Thunderdome. <laughs> <laughs> How did you pull fucking Well, look parrot at you. If you but, painted that green and put spots on it, you're a parrot fish, bro. Okay, Harley, most people, big teeth, they're going to say a horse. Mr. Ed, some shit, some fucker said parrotfish. I'm keeping it real, guy. I play it, play a gots to play. What about? Play a gots to play now. <laughs> play a gots to play, the parrotfish player. Play a gots to play. How long, how long we got? <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared to go into another topic. We haven't even gotten to a topic yet. I I can't, what the hell is he talking about? Into anything, he fucking, I swear to God, I'm going to think of parrotfish for the next three weeks. I didn't, I've didn't. i never seen one, never heard You've of never one. You've never seen or heard of and one. And you just pull it out left Have field. you ever been to Bermuda? Yeah. Well, there's lots there. Did, you go, did you go underwater? I swam in the ocean. It's funny. Most people see them, and yet you didn't. Sorry. <laughs> Maybe someone wasn't really in Bermuda. Yeah. <laughs> we got us a liar, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. We got a, a liar, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. I, coming from the guy that killed two twins, but I'm the liar. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's true. I guess I'm the liar. Mine's so tame. Yeah, I've been to Bermuda. Yours is I killed two girls. Well, well I, I said twins. So I said you? twins. I didn't, didn't say I didn't, I, I didn't say gender because you don't say that these days. I, I killed two its. There's, here's a two little its in dresses. Were they boys or girls? I don't know. But they sure had nice Ross dress for less dresses. And <laughs> now they have less than nothing because they're dead. Harlan, is so li you're so literal. You can't say one thing out of place, and you'll fucking run with it. I swear to God. I swear you're going to tell me something about running. Running? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I know all about running. <laughs> I ran across the border from Canada to the United States. I, I, I was going to ask when you move here, but I'm scared of where that's no, going to go. No, that's fine. I moved here uh, <laughs> right in the, uh, in the late 80s. <laughs> right when uh, I don't know why. I know TT was at her peak. Tina Turner? Yeah. <laughs> I moved right down here when Tina Turner was uh, smoking like a hot pair of socks on the top of a Hooters in the middle of summer. Oh, I got a Hooters story. I'm just kidding, I don't. <laughs> you do? <laughs> no. I have a Hooters yeah. story. Yeah, tell it. I, uh, I probably look tired, and here's why. Have you ever had an owl in your backyard? I don't know. <laughs> I, had a, I have a pine trees in my backyard. By the way, the wisest of all the birds, right? Owls. And I was up all night. This thing's hooing. They're like, hoo, 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 hoo. By the way, have you ever seen a snowy owl? Mm -mm. The white ones? Not in person. Snowy owl. This is my impression of a snowy owl. Fuck, it's cold. <laughs> <laughs> but dude, I had an owl. <laughs> How dare you? Oh <sighs> <laughs> I wish we had I wish we had clearance so we could just play the song like in the background this whole interview. It's just right. like barely hearing it. And yes. then, then she goes, oh, it just comes louder. Ah. <sighs> 
I think you can reference the awe at least. I think you can yeah. take that. You're allowed to yeah. take, I think, three <laughs> seconds from anything legally. Yeah. And I think that awe is about 2.8. <sighs> can we pull it up, like, in the background? <laughs> she said. Um, I, uh, okay, I had sold Sorry, these guys, wise but... old birds, the owls. I had an owl in my tree last night, and the thing's hooing, and at three in the morning, I'm not having it. So I go outside in my jammies, and I'm like, how do you shut up the wisest of all the birds. And uh, so here I am in the dark and I threw a Rubik's Cube at this damn genius. <laughs> and I'll be damned if that thing didn't come back 30 seconds later, perfectly done. <laughs> How did you? Perfectly done. Okay, this is what I'm trying to figure out. How did you somehow take it back to 85 again with Rubik's Cube? Like oh, <laughs> between yeah. Tina Turner Rubik's Late Cube. Late 80s moving here, the, yeah. and now Rubik's Cube. And remember, did you? were you a pet rock guy? I, I remember it, but I didn't have remember, one. Yeah, I didn't have one. Um, but there's a lot of, um, what are they called? The uh, rescue, the rescue rocks. If you go down to the beach, they're all over the place. What is that? Well, when someone abandons their pet or doesn't want it anymore, they just get rid of it. Mm -hmm. And I think a lot of people who had pet rocks uh, just, because I went to the beach the other day and they were everywhere, rocks <laughs> and just just sitting there, shivering in the cold. I think some of them had AIDS. <laughs> pet rock AIDS. <laughs> They were, they were, they were, they were malnourished. It was the rock shaking. They weren't thick, solid rock. No, they weren't. Like they wouldn't hurt anybody if you no, hit you them over the head. No, you yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they just kind of shiver to somebody when you throw Whoa, them. Whoa, that was uh, good. That was good. <laughs> hey, I'm starting to get on your vibe now. It's taken me 15 minutes. Yeah. But <laughs> I, saw, I had a guy at a show the other night. I said, I said, what do you do for a living, sir? He goes, I'm a mover. I said, we're all movers, asshole. How do you think we got here tonight? Yeah. <laughs> and he goes, no, I'm a mover. And I said, well, I hope you never get Parkinson's disease because then you'll be a mover and a shaker. <laughs> <laughs> and that, that, that story is real, at least. <laughs> Can I get some coral over here how for you, the fish? How do <laughs> I wanna, I'm gonna have to laugh with my bottom teeth now. <laughs> I'm waiting for another animal to come out. We all Derek. know that's a bulldog. No, yeah. you don't. British bulldog. <laughs> um, they have a famous You went underbite. back to the 80s again. The what British Bulldogs WWF. Wrestlers. I didn't know that. You're fucking amazing with the late 80 references. I didn't even know that one. You look like a bulldog. I British didn't bulldog. Know, I didn't make that connection. Dude, that clearly... That was your years, the 80s. The 80s, yeah, I loved the 80s. Back. Oh, my God, did I love the 80s. Did you just sit and just, when, remember when Thriller came out? It was on right. at the top of every hour on MTV. Yes, yes. Do you remember that? I did, I did, and I was sort of annoyed. Why, you didn't like it? I just, I don't know, Michael Jackson turning into a werewolf with a red leather jacket. I just feel like if you're going to feast on human flesh... A red leather jacket, at least, you know, get some Jeffrey Dahmer sportswear or something, yeah. you know? <laughs> like, be, be real. Be real. He didn't, he didn't, did he, he didn't eat anybody in the video, though. He no. He almost did. And then no, he turned but, normal with his girlfriend. Yeah. Oh, the Ray. I thought she was so. Hot. Was that the girl, the, the, the girl he was strutting down the street with? Mm -hmm. Ola Ray? That's Ola Ray name. was her name. Mm -hmm. Oh, God, that's a beautiful name. That's like a Cajun name. <laughs> now you come on in here, have some fresh crawfish now, Ola Ray. <laughs> Mama been stirring it up all day now, child. You stop hanging out with that leather jacket werewolf and you sit down now and have your red crawfish, child. <laughs> that like... werewolf, nothing but trouble now. A regular werewolf wear a black leather jacket. Your little friend got a red one, child. Red like the crawfish twirling around in my chowder. Now you come sit down now, child. Stay away from that werewolf, child. I can, 
I don't do anything. I can just sit here. This is, I'm going to be like this. <laughs> Harlan's going to be going. I'm over here. Yeah. Oh, look, Harlan. Oh, God. Bette Miller, The Rose, Stay With Me. Oh, just, wow. Another look, 80s look, movie. Look. 80s just movie. <laughs> Bette Miller, The Rose. Yeah. God. Hold on. We find something else, Harlan. You know she used to do stand-up comedy, Bette Midler? Did you no. know that? No, yeah. she didn't. Yeah, she never became a headliner, but she was a great midler. She's like, T.I. I said she was a great midler. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> You know, don't hand me anything else. If you're not going to get it, then maybe Sorry. this isn't the forum was, for me. I was half listening and half looking for something else for you to talk about. Maybe it's about. time for the panfish to eat a bowl of my car daddy chowder now. <laughs> What you got with that one? Stevie Wonder. Stevie overjoyed. Wonder. Uh, blind. <laughs> blind. I'll That's never okay. forget the day it happened. I was, uh, I was in an airport, Bakersfield Airport. And uh, again, it was in the 80s when I suffered from severe acne. And I could hear someone behind me. I was in the men's room, stall four. I could hear someone behind me reciting <laughs> lines from the Bible verses from the Bible. I'm like, what the hell is that? And I had acne. My ass was covered in acne. And I turn around and Stevie Wonder's reading my ass cheeks like Braille. <laughs> that was like the first book of Eli. <laughs> no thanks, I'm straight. <laughs> I don't even know what that one meant. The book of Eli? Oh, that's a great movie. Remember Denzel was yeah. blind? He was, nobody knew he was oh, that's blind. Right. Yeah. That, like, that was like the first book of Eli. Yeah, yeah. I love that movie, man. Yeah. Right up till the end when you found, found out he's a handicap. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need to see no movie about no blind handicap person now. I like my heroes to have sight and vision. <laughs> Did she, what the hell did was she, that? Somebody she just dropped one of those Tina Turner condoms. <laughs> <laughs> it solidified. Did you know he was blind till the end? No, but it's weird because he did way too much to be a blind guy. I mean, Daredevil <laughs> can't even do the shit Eli did. <laughs> Are you kidding? Like he was walking around, he was, he was shooting cats. Yeah. He was he was fighting guys like. 50 guys coming at him and he's blind? Yeah. No. Did you rewatch it? Like after I, you saw I it? I actually rewatched it about, uh, about two months ago, to be honest. I only watched the first half. Because the first half's cool just because that's when he's kicking the most ass. Mm -hmm. And then he just starts walking with Mila, whatever Kunis. her name, with Kunis. Yeah. And, uh, and then it got kind of Boersville. And. And then the whole thing at the end where he's blind, I felt like this was one of these, um, the sixth sense, you know, yeah. the I see dead children thing or whatever. Mm -hmm. Well, I hit dead twins, but, um, <laughs> <laughs> but it felt like that, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> and right at the end when, he's fi when they finally reveal he's blind, suddenly now he's like, you know, he's looking around <laughs> like he... Someone dinged him in the head with a bag of fucking potatoes, right? But the rest of the movie, he's just like, okay, what's that? Hey, nine guys with blades. But soon as they see, you find out he's blind, he's like, someone get me a potato now. I never picked up on right? that. He was what a con destroying job. people. And then he finds out he's blind, he's like, yeah. guys. Yeah. Guys, where's the Bible? Yeah, suddenly he took a, a can of Helen Keller pills and you didn't know what the hell was going on. Nice try there, Denzi. That's what I call him, Denzi. Hey, what'd you think of um, the Oscars? Oh my gosh, what a travesty. You know, think of this. Think if, think if a homeless guy wandered into the Oscars, walked up on stage and slapped Chris Rock or anybody. Oh, I was talking about the Bruno performance. Bruno? Who's yeah, that? The song. Oh, I don't know the song. What is it? Oh, you didn't miss it. You're talking about the slap. I didn't watch the Oscars. Oh, okay, I'm just kidding. <laughs> was I'm there trying, a, that was a bad oh, me trying to do what you're doing. Was Sorry there a about that. What? You know what? Fuck it. Let's go back to... Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> wow. 
<laughs> Where well, am I now? Just Where like, am I? Just like I've been lost. I, I'm so glad I got you. You on got one me. Thing. You got me <laughs> Man, good. And I'm going to have to wrap song. it up. Can we wrap this up? <laughs> I don't like to be gotten on camera. <laughs> That's what Jared said. Bruno's song. I was like this. Got him. You got me. <laughs> now I got to know, what's the Bruno song? It's the song that won the Oscar. It's some song from one of the movies. Oh. You don't talk about Bruno, no, no. Megan Thee Stallion Who came out. Who sings it? It's like eight people sing it. It's like an, on, it's like an ensemble song. Oh. It's all these people. They, they performed it at the Oscars, though. So eight people won the Oscar for one song? Basically. It was like, it was the first, the Oscar was the first live performance of the song because huh. the movie's a cartoon. So they played it during the Oscars. You were talking about the slap. The slap, the slap. What do yeah. you think of that? Well, I don't know if I want to backtrack. Now I'll do that, it. Okay, well, I was going to say. It's like you backed into those twins. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> I didn't. The, the Rottweiler did. <laughs> I'm starting to catch on. It's taking me like 25 minutes. <laughs> but I figured out you can actually get something done with Harlan. <laughs> I, uh... <laughs> I think if a homeless guy wandered into the uh, Oscars and slapped Chris Rock or slapped anyone, they would have had that guy out in, in cuffs in three seconds, right? Mm -hmm. So what gives Willie Boy Smith the right to go up and do it? Just because he's an actor guy, you know? It, well, it's kind of like uh, the Dallas Cowboys back in the early 90s, not 80s, not your time, a little okay. few years after. A guy fell asleep in training camp and, and Jimmy in the meeting room and Jimmy Johnson cut him. And one oh, of the reporters God. said, hey, if Emma Smith would have fell asleep, would you have cut him? He goes, I would have gave him a pillow. So it's really? like... Really? It, yeah, it's, it's the, the hierarchy. It's the, it's the, you know what I mean? still... He was going to... And they probably knew he was going to win. Wow. You're not going to kick him out. You know he's about to win. Wow. You know, and they had the... They had like um, an out because they're like, you know... People don't know if it's real. We can deal with this after yeah. the awards because you really didn't know. But then when he sat down and started cussing like a Bakersfield truck stop guy, <laughs> like that's when you're like, this this is real. I like, know. When you're dropping f bombs all over the place on live TV, yeah, then you know it's probably real, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. That's where they should have maybe uh, taken some uh, some action. Yeah, I mean, come mm -hmm. on, guy. Speaking about action. What do you think about that one? What's this? Aretha Franklin and George Michael. Oh. I knew you were waiting for me. Oh, God. Poor George Michael. Did you hear he passed? Mm-hmm. Poor guy. Yeah, hit by a dog. <laughs> wham. <laughs> Just walking down the street and wham. Michael Ridgely hit a poodle and it flew up and hit this freak right in the face. And I to think, think um, last Christmas, ooh, I, got one. I gave him my heart. <laughs> and I think Tina Turner gave him a careless whisper. Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> Not bro, I'm so to get yeah. I'm bro, to get it, bro. Should we change chairs now or what, bro? I have a power slam. <laughs> wow. <sighs> careless whisper, bro. <laughs> Let's have a moment of hey, glee. Give I me like a little R-E-S-P-E-C-T. Yes, yes. <laughs> you got it, guy. You got it. R-S-P-S-T-C-E or Our, whatever. How do you, you can spell give R-E-S-P-E-C-T. Respect. Respect. Is there, is there a Franklin silent song? letter in respect or no? The C silent. Respect. Right. Right. Unless you want to say it, respecta. Respect. There's just really... a silent C in there. Mm -hmm. Who knew? Yeah, I. Uh, you'd think you'd know these things when you spent so many years in school, but you you just <laughs> you don't pick up on the silent letters. <laughs> all I did, all I've done for thirty minutes is laugh. I haven't gotten anything. Out. I, I, I'm so glad I googled all your credits. <laughs> <laughs> Let me think of some other <laughs> wham songs. Oh, I'll oh, just wake me up before you go go. Oh okay. yeah, yeah, that was a beauty. <laughs> when that song came out, I was in elementary school. Yeah, and I remember the biggest debate at recess. Like, you think they're gay? You think they're gay? 
Who said that? <laughs> Everyone at recess, because he had the big loop earrings. Right. He, he like had this. the frosted tips. Yeah. And we're like this. You think that guy's gay? Oh, there's a lot of girls in the video. Like, we're, we're, we're playing pickup basketball at recess going, I don't know, dude. I well, can't tell. I'll tell you what, my sister, and she's large. She, my sister's a fatty, and um, she, um, <laughs> she heard everyone was getting frosted tips because of George Michael. And one day I came into the kitchen, and she was standing there topless with her tits in the freezer. And I said, what the hell are you doing? She goes, I'm getting frosted tits. And I said, you idiot, it's <laughs> tips. <laughs> and she ruined the ice cream. She ruined the steaks. I mean, I'm not going to eat, uh, you know, mint chocolate chip after my sister's fat, blubbery manatee tits have been all over the stuff. <laughs> How do you come up with the animal references? <laughs> well, have you seen my sister? No. Hello, endangered species. What was, the, what was the animal you called me earlier? Oh, a parrotfish. 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 Okay. Is that what it was? And do you okay. remember what I told you they eat? Coral. Coral. They actually do. I, I'm comprehended, man. I'm listening. You should see these chompers. They just, they're, they're the only fish they eat coral. And triggerfish have kind of, triggerfish and blowfish have similar teeth, but the, the parrotfish is the most prominent. But a triggerfish has sort of the chompers, and, and certain species of blowfish have the, it's almost like a plate. Mm -hmm. And if you were to lift the skirt of a squid or an octopi, you'd see a, a couple of plates. It looks like two uh, razor sharp clits <laughs> trying to find a bite to eat. They're the clits of the sea, these fucking things. Well, if you're going to laugh, maybe this isn't the forum for me. <laughs> okay. What, can you do what the hell is Four this? Four tops, indestructible. Four tops. Oh, God. These guys are great. I love that song they have. Where's my sister's diarrhea pills? <laughs> <laughs> and you talked earlier about running, and uh, this, this song reminds me of that. <laughs> Where's my sister's diarrhea pills? <laughs> it's a starry Friday night, and she be running. Oh, she be running. Oh. Okay. What's this? Freddie Jackson? I don't know who Tasty this love. is. Tasty love. Taste of love. Taste, tasty tasty love. love. I don't know who this is. You know Freddie Jackson? No. Is that bad? Does that it's make me pretty, a bad person? I mean, person? in the 80s. I don't know. Tell me who dang. this is. I have no idea. He's an R&B singer. but uh, R&B? But everybody, everybody was like, they do, used to do a joke, like because Luther Vandross and Freddie Jackson was like. Vandross? It's Vandross. Is it? Luther Vandross? Yeah. Luther Vandross. Is it Vandross? I don't know what Van it is. Vandross anyway. is a vampire from the <laughs> early 17th century <laughs> who sucked blood out of people with the Black Plague, got infected, and he was known as the Helen Keller of the vampire <laughs> set. <sighs> God. Did you see the Helen Keller movie? No, was it good? I heard it was all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> what did she do again? What I, did she do that made her like amazing? Or I something? think she was um, dumb, deaf, and blind. Yeah. But somehow she must have read the book of Eli because she <laughs> pulled it all together in the end. <laughs> Last I heard, she was playing harp and tightrope walking <laughs> at the same time. <laughs> what did Helen Keller do? Like, did she write a book or something? She, I think. Yeah, she 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 was very and in, in, in all seriousness, she was uh, she had several disabilities and she powered through them. And a very powerful person didn't overcome them, but but learned how to channel them and master her disabilities and and became very influential and inspirational to the mm. world of the disabled and to the world in general because people could look at her and see what a marvel she was. Okay. I feel sick. I feel sick. <laughs> you made me do a real answer, and now I feel sick. <laughs> I feel fucking sick. So, I can't wait for a twist. I can't wait for something. Well, that'll come later now when we're having some nice parrotfish and crawdad chowder, child. <laughs> 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 
Why does, you, you remind me, <laughs> I swear to God, I, you remind me of those guys like Dexter, the serial killers that you just, you just be laughing all the way through, tying somebody up. Plat, you watch Dexter? I haven't, but Showtime? my mother did. My mother watched it. Oh, it's, it's just, he's a... He's a serial he, killer. But he kills serial killers. He kills oh, people he that does? deserve to die. Holy, he's not killing so people, he's like, people alone. He's helping society out, really. Wait, he's a serial killer killing serial killers? Yeah. Holy smokes. So he's, he, oh my God. Yeah, he's, he only kills people that deserve to die, basically. Wow. But he does this whole, he's got this whole performance that comes with it, like... He'll, he gets a room, he'll, like a room like this, and it'll, it'll be all plastic. And then the person will wake up, and they're, they're, it's all plastic. And, and they wake up feeling him. fresh, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> he'll stab them before he explains why he's killing them. No. And then he cleans it all up because he's a forensic person with the cops. So oh, he knows wow. how to clean all the crime scenes up. So, oh, wow. That's what I'm saying. You, I mean, I like you, but you scare me a little bit. Cause I feel like I you scare you. Have you seen uh, Johnny Parrotfish <laughs> over here? How many victims have you eaten through there, Coral Boy? I can literally see you doing something like that, Harlan. <laughs> no, no, no! I didn't kill her. Talk about her, and then you come off. Just go off. Show. <laughs> I don't know where you go with it, but I think... I feel like there's got to be a great joke. They're a serial killer who kills serial killers. Mm -hmm. What is it? What is that joke? We're comedians. Gotta... Why do we not have a joke? A serial killer who... Now, that's going to bother me. That's yeah. the first one that's throwing me off. There has to be a joke there. I'm like this. Yes. A serial killer who kills serial killers. Oh, and someone's watching this right now and they've got the answer. Yeah. <laughs> how do we not have, between me and you, how do I'm we not? Scared. I'm scared. I'm falling all the way back with you because but whatever you I think... say, you're going to take it somewhere that I didn't know it could go. But don't you think there's a joke there? A serial killer who kills serial killers, dot, dot, dot. I'm just trying to figure out oh. how they pitched that to Showtime. All right, check this out. Yeah. This guy works for the cops, okay? He's a forensic pathologist. He knows how to clean up crime scenes. So he's had a lot of childhood trauma. Yeah. His dad got murdered. You know, he saw it. Uh, and so he becomes a serial killer, but he's only killing serial killers. He's actually right. helping the police out when he's doing it. And we're going to cast a quirky guy. Think Harlan Williams. Or lucky, <laughs> think lucky maybe. Hey, pink moons, red clovers, blue diamonds, and I'm gonna fucking cut your wife up. <laughs> Catch Lucky, he's a serial killer, serial killer. Let me no. ask you this, why does your, your Cajun accent, your mouth goes to the left, mm -hmm. your Irish, it goes to the right. <laughs> Cajun, he's like this. You want some stew? The, 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 the Conor McGregor? Oh, lucky charge. Okay. Well, okay. You can make fun, but when you go to DeVry Night School and you study languages, uh, they teach you uh, each side of the mouth uh, has a different uh, accent. Does it? Yeah. <laughs> Now, over here, we got the Cajun crawfish. <laughs> and over here, we got Lucky. <laughs> Would you let me in, pour milk on your family, and let me cut the shit out of them? I'll put them into little cubes and feed them to the parrotfish. <sighs> <laughs> I'll just... That's the whole face. There's no right or left. <laughs> when you're dropping a deuce like Tina Turner... Yeah. <sighs> Right? <laughs> Why did she make that sound? You know what's funny? You said that, and I'm not lying. The last time I heard that song was probably six months ago. Where were you? Like, I'm in the car. Okay. And, and, you're, and by yourself, you know, yeah, you're like, yeah. yeah, I'm going to listen to the whole song. Okay. And then you really start to pick up on the lyrics. Right. And I'm going, she's talking about being a stripper and sleeping with the clients. And then, then I'm going like this. And then I swear to God, when she said, ah, oh, I was like, I just, I think whenever I hear those sexual undertones and songs, like people are literally in the studio with the thing. Yeah, like, ah. Oh. Tina, let's run that back. 
little more, bring it down from yeah. here. Oh. <laughs> Act like the mic is a cock. Yeah. <laughs> and you're going at it, Tina. Oh. <laughs> Wow, I just saw your mouth going to that <laughs> cock with parrotfish teeth. And I think we finally found our serial killer, serial killer, serial killer. Yeah. And, you know, I'm, I don't, I'm only killing people that deserve to die, like somebody that might hit a dog that kills some twins. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> you killed the twins. <laughs> Harlem would still be cracking jokes. Twins. That was a good movie. Danny DeVito. Vito. He was so short. Who would ever believe him and Arnold Schwarzenegger yeah. were together? <laughs> Those two freaks. What Have you ever met a serial killer? Um, no. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, I met OJ. Does that you count? did? After. It no. After the whole thing? Yeah. What was that like? He came to my show at the Miami Improv. Whoa. And this was probably 2002. This is before he got in trouble in Vegas. Okay, so, so he's still a free guy. So he came to the show. This is hysterical. He came to the show with like three white ladies, right? All right. So I, the host said, hey, do you want us to say you're in the room, in the building? He wants to give you a shout out? He was like, yeah, that's fine. Just give me a heads up when you're going to do it. So the host goes, all right, I'm going to say this. So that's when I'm going to say OJ's here, right? So he did it. And then he said, yeah, we got O.J. Simpson in the house tonight. And I looked over. O.J. moved from the three white girls to sit between, like, four black girls. So what? when he announced them, he was like, hey. And everybody looked back. And then he went back to the white girls. Come on. <laughs> like, what was the point of that? Talk <laughs> he literally about. left the white girls to go, like, yeah, I'm still down. Yeah. Still with the cost. And then he went right back to the white girls. Talk about product placement. That's yeah. weird. <laughs> Why but then he, he came that? up to me after the show, right? Oh, no, you did you shake hands with him? Yeah. And he goes, Whoa, bro. He goes, hey, man, funny stuff. And then he goes like this. Then he goes, so where are you from? I was like, Cincinnati. He goes, oh, man. He started telling me about him and Buffalo playing the Bengals a couple times in Cincy and telling me where they stayed and things about the city. And the whole time I'm going, oh, now I get it. You're charming as I, you know, I can't get out of my head the, the killings. Right. But I'm sitting here going... Now I get it why people liked you and, and you know, didn't want to believe you did anything. Like, he yeah. literally, for a split second, going, oh, yeah, since it, wait a minute, I shouldn't be having this conversation. Right. You know? Did you, did you at any point want to just, like, rappel away from the guy? Like, like I always felt like if, if he came up to me, I'd, I'd just turn and walk away. Oh, well, he got me, well, he got me at a weird moment because I don't know if you remember the old Coconut Grove Miami Improv. Yeah, I remember upstairs. that. It was upstairs. The bar was right there. Yeah. I'm at the bar, and he just kind of came up behind and started wow. talking to me. So I'm, I'm kind of stuck. It was all, literally the conversation was less than a minute probably. Right. But still, I was like, oh, that's crazy. I just, I just talked to OJ. Weird, bro. You know? <laughs> wow. See, so yeah, I did meet a serial killer, I guess. Yeah. Well, he wasn't a serial killer. No. And apparently he's innocent. But if he did do it, he was a murderer. But he's not technically a serial killer because serial killers do multiple... Do we really know? Oh, you're right. Maybe he. Wow, really interesting. <laughs> interesting. Maybe he was doing it like before. You're saying. We don't really know. Wow. <laughs> I don't know where this is going. I'm scared. <laughs> yeah, I'm a little frightened too. <laughs> do you do comfort hugs on this show or anything? No. no Cuddling. No. no. <laughs> Do you know Ziggy Marley? <clears throat> Bob Marley's oh, son? Oh, yeah. I don't know him, but uh, Ziggy Marley. Bob Marley was the Jamaican uh, rap star. No, uh, He's just a ska. Singer. He's he did just a ska. Singer. Reggae music, yeah. yeah reggae. And a big supporter of, uh, early supporter of marijuana, right? Mm hmm Yeah, Jamaica. Have you been to Jamaica? Yep. Underwater? Swimming? I don't think I went in the ocean. Okay, okay. Why? Well, that's where the parrotfish are. I, I thought they were in Bermuda. No, they're in any warm tropical oh, water. Oh, well, yeah. I've seen them then. Yeah, yeah. you probably saw some. 
I was like this. Guy looks like me. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I saw my reflection. That water's clear as yeah, shit. Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't even underwater. I looked down. I go, I'm looking at my reflection. I didn't know it was a fucking parrotfish looking back at me. <laughs> like, it was like 10 of me, dude. The water was so clear. Yeah. It was reflected. There was a shit. school of me. <laughs> I even caught one of me and ate me. <laughs> Watch this. So you'll like this. Ready? <laughs> oh, I thought you were going to make a parapet like noise. I did. That's what a parapet sounds like. Yeah, probably. <laughs> we got through the nose, through the nose. <laughs> Did you go to college? I did. Where? Whoa. Well, you gotta, <laughs> he, he doesn't believe it at all. Where? Where? <laughs> I told you earlier, DeVry, and... Uh, <laughs> Class of February? <laughs> no, I went to college in, uh, in Canada, a place called Sheridan College. And oh, I, I love that place. I studied uh, classical animation. <laughs> Really? Yeah, <laughs> I studied animation. Sheridan College? Sheridan College. Like the hotel? Uh, well, no, it was a college. I know, but it's spelled like the hotel. S-A-T-I-T-O-N. <laughs> they left the light on for me, <laughs> and I went to college. Was that Sheridan with that red roof in? We'll leave the light on. That's uh, Motel 6. Okay. Red yeah. What was Red Roof Inn's um, slogan? I think we don't have lights. <laughs> but do they you know i don't like that slogan we'll leave the light on for you I, I think you know not the nicest motels in the world mm -hmm. i think the slogan should be like we're motel sex and we'll leave the blood fart on the sheet for you <laughs> no we're motel six if you want to bring a whore without anybody finding out this is the hotel for you yeah We'll leave the diarrhea arc on the wall for you. <laughs> we'll leave the old lady from The Shining in the bathtub for you. <laughs> I stayed there once, dude. I'm not kidding. I woke up covered in someone else's psoriasis sores. <laughs> the, it, what's the shittiest hotel you've ever stayed at in your I career? I think I was just talking about yeah. it. <laughs> You cut me off to ask me something that I was already deeply conversing in, and I don't know if that's the best interview technique. <laughs> oh. I'm learning. I'm learning. <laughs> there was a glory hole in the ceiling. <laughs> Why am I looking up? <laughs> Because that's what I'm like, talking about we're both here. Up, yeah. like, There's no one here. <laughs> there will be. <laughs> I, uh, I went down into the lobby and it said breakfast in bed. I went back up to my room. Someone had barfed an omelet all over my bed sheet. <laughs> Are you going to puke or what? God. Just keep it going. <laughs> All I did was laugh and get like one fucking wham reference off this whole thing. Oh, interview. that was nice. The careless whisper. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. I and you don't forget anything. You're I, like so literal word for word. I am. Like any word you say out of place, you just run with it. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, I, I would, I'd almost pay money so you get pulled over by a cop. <laughs> really? You know how fast you were going? Of course, I was in the car. <laughs> yeah. How would I not know how fast I was going? <laughs> yeah. I'd go, do you know how fast you were following me, asshole? <laughs> Here, have a ticket. <laughs> a lottery ticket, a scratch off. I already scratched it off. You're getting nothing. Now get in your little black and white and fuck <laughs> off to Dairy Queen there, porky pig teeth. Where'd you pull Dairy Queen? I don't it's, know. You're not in L.A. It's always on my mind. Clearly, your brain right now is not in L.A. I, I For some reason, it's always on my mind. Dairy Queen, I'll never forget when I lost my virginity. My priest took me through the drive through <laughs> in his white van. And he was patting my hair when he said, you want a dilly bar or a Dairy Queen blizzard? And I said, pat a little harder. And I ended up with a banana split. 
It's just the weirdest childhood. But I remember the priest. The, the priest when I was growing up, they found out he was touching all the little boys. No. And never touched me. I was like, a little offended. I go, was I that unattractive as a child? I was like this. I remember just waiting up in front of the church. Everybody would come out with Reese cups and Snickers. I'd be like, fuck, where's going to get the candy? Just pick. Like, you know why? These fucking parrot fish teeth saved me. Yeah. He goes, I want no part of that oh, shit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. He goes, I, want, I don't want them motherfuckers. I ain't touching no meat skinner now. <laughs> God. Are you serial? Your, your, your priest was touching all the kids? A priest. I went to the church oh, a couple God. times. Oh, God. Yeah. Kind of. I kind of knew, looking back, I was wow. like, he's a little too friendly. Wait, you, you say there's no Dairy Queens here in, in L.A.? Not enough for somebody to just pull it out of left field when we're talking about a cop giving you a ticket. Did you love Dairy Queen? I like the straw. I like the blizzards, but my favorite was the, the cheesecake one, the strawberry ice cream with the cheesecake oh, bites God, in it. And they mix yeah. that shit up. That shit good. Oh, peanut butter parfait. That was yours? No, but I liked it. Mm-hmm. I mean, they're they're so prevalent in the South. For yeah, they're everywhere. Dairy Queen. They're like in the LA. Starbucks of the South. Everywhere you go, there's a Dairy Queen. Dairy Queen, Waffle House. Oh, I love Waffle House. Cracker Barrel. Oh my God, it's all Southern stuff. Yeah, Cracker Barrel's the best. Oh, to, you know, to go and eat a meal and then be able to, in less than forty seconds, buy John Deere salt and pepper shakers. Yeah. <laughs> The Cracker Barrel has every candy that they don't sell anymore. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> really excited I, I love that. Cracker like, Barrel. You, know, you jumped. Oh, that's I, right. I, <laughs> I love Cracker Barrel, man. It's like comfort food. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like I go there, I get blackened catfish. You ever have that? I always get the, people don't realize, the grilled chicken tenders are so good. Yeah, everything's good there. Yeah, it is. The pancakes. Oh, my, my guy that used to open for me. Everywhere he was from LA. Yeah. Every time we go to the road, he goes, Stop eat Cracker Barrel. Yeah. He loved them pancakes, boy. They're the best. He'd argue with you like the best pancakes in the world. They're no really boys. great. And they're pretty good. They're pretty damn good. What's uh what's the Canadian coffee shop? Tom Tim something? Hortons. Tim Hortons. Yeah, he was a hockey player. Is that what he was? Tim I Horton was a hockey player for the Toronto Maple Leafs, opened Tim Hortons and then died in a horrible car crash. Really? He, he died in a horrible car. I think his wife inherited. There was just a few of them, and then it became a huge franchise. Yeah, they're everywhere. And it's like the... Uh, so, so think about it. What's a better marriage? Hockey and donuts, right? That's mm -hmm. the Canadian dream right there. Yeah. So there's no way that recipe was going to fail, yeah. right? <laughs> he was like popular hockey player? No, he was. That's the thing. He was never a top-tier hockey player. He, he was... He was good, but he was never like a star player. But he was, I think he got the notoriety because he was like kind of one of the first well-known celebrities or sports figures to kind of take his name and brand it. Yeah. Because remember, this was back in the 70s. So people didn't really do that, you know? Like there's no real Burger King. He doesn't exist. Yeah. There's no real McDonald. Was Wendy real? Wendy wasn't real. That's Pippi Longstocking. Yeah. They stole her. <laughs> And if you shave her head, a lot like Molly Ringwald, if you ask yeah. me. <laughs> Arby's but, isn't real? What's Arby's stamp? Arby's, Arby's, no, Arby's is uh, he's not real. Um, but yeah, Tim Hortons, donuts and coffee, and people go nuts over that stuff. Is, that, is there another chain in Canada that we don't know about in the United States? That we don't Harvey's, have? Harvey's Hamburgers. Harvey's Hamburgers. Yeah, they were, they were like the, like the in and out of, of Canada. Uh, okay. And Swiss Chalet Chicken. There's a place called Swiss Chalet, uh -uh. and all the waitresses are Canadian, and they dress in later hosen and the little straps, and the and they specialize in uh, broiled chicken, and it's it's great. Hmm. Swiss Chalet. I've never and I've done like I think I've worked on five films in Canada, and every, all the different cities: Vancouver, uh, Saskatchewan. Yeah. Uh, where did, where was, Winnipeg. Winnipeg. Um, All these jokes are coming back to me from other comedians. What do you mean? Well, when I hear these, these provinces, Winnipeg, sounds like a game show for pirates. 
<laughs> Not my joke. We were, well, the first we ever did was in Regina, Saskatchewan. Where now? Regina? If you could spell it in a sentence, please. R-E-G-I-N-A. Regina? Regina? Okay, so you're in Regina. <laughs> and how'd that work out for you? I just remember... Was the priest there? No. <laughs> I just remember when I kept... I kept saying Regina because they didn't want to say Regina. I know. Uh, at the airport? Um, here, I'm looking for Regina. It's Regina. Yeah. It's like this. Oh, sorry. Have you been to the place uh, just about 10 miles down the road, road Cunt Town? No. <laughs> you will. You will. <laughs> Cunt Town. Yeah, just down the road from Regina. But it's spelled with a silent C, so it's not what you're thinking. Ooh, they had a good coffee shop called Cock and Bull. Yeah. No lie. Right. Winnipeg had it, and I think Saskatchewan, Regina had it. Yeah. Cock and Bull. I've Man, been there. It's right next shop. to Dick's Sporting Goods. Yeah. Um... <laughs> uh, I went to Jiffy Lube last week. Have you been there? Mm. No, I was watching King Richard. <laughs> <laughs> kind of the same thing, really. <laughs> I went to Jiffy Lube and, you know, I'd never been. And uh, I said to the guy, because I like a good deal. And I said to him, how much? And he goes, uh, 65 bucks. And I said, great, let's do it. And he looks at me, he goes, sir, where's your car? <laughs> And I said, car, what are we in high school? I don't want to do it in a car. I see the hydraulic lift back there. Let's get me on it. Daddy wants to ride. <laughs> Asshole. <laughs> I just bought a new car. I got, have you seen these things, the Kias? Uh -huh. I got a brand new Kia. Actually, I put it together myself. It's an Ikea. I have a wooden car. Is there a problem? I get free parking at Cracker Barrel. <laughs> I was about to, I had something, but I couldn't remember the name of the candy bar. Oh. Fuck. What was the tiny one with the square? It was square. It had the four pieces. It was oh, tiny. all of them? No. It was Look it up. It's, it's a square. It's tiny. You just oh, described fuck. every chocolate bar on planet Earth. No, no. Like this. I What's run. the tiny one with the chocolate squares? <laughs> <laughs> What's the apple with the red skin and the stem? What's that one? <laughs> What's the pineapple with the uh, big uh, floofy well, uh, thing at the top I there? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? I love it. Because most candy bars are rectangles. Ooh, interesting. The rectangles. Wait a minute. Let me, let me process that. Hershey That's a big long. statement. This one is a square. It's small, Ooh. but it's thick. Cadbury, is that it? No. Cadbury's no. a Canadian brand. Most? That's a big statement. I've never heard that in my life. Most chocolate bars are rectangles. They are. But that you don't hear that a lot. That's a big quote. <laughs> Ask not what your country can do for you. Ask what you can do for your country. I have a dream... This is one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Most chocolate bars are rectangle. They are. Hold on. Wow. I got chocolate bars from the 80s here, so I'm going to find This is it. heavy shit, bro. Okay, there's... There it is. Chunky. Oh. Chunky is a tiny fucking square, bro. <laughs> oh, wow. It is square. That would be delicious on top of a Wendy's hamburger. Look, I know, what a but, fit. Look. Chunky. That's most candy bars are they're rectangles. What you call it? Yeah, you're right. That's pretty wild. The rectangles. It's, that's a rectangle. What's that brand? What you call it? Yeah. What is it? It's. What's in it? No. What's that brand? Hershey's. No, the chocolate bar you just showed me. What you call it? That's what I'm asking. You fucker. <laughs> no thanks. I'm busy. <laughs> Okay. We're going we're gonna to wrap this up. 
I want to know when we're getting started. <laughs> I'm getting pissed off. I'm this sick. I'm this close to going into the men's room Anything? and. Oh. <laughs> Anything you want to promote? <laughs> oh yeah. Okay, so this will be fun. When does this come out, though? When do you want it to come out? <laughs> We got new episodes every Thursday. Okay. I give you whatever. Well, we can this have. I'm doing a beautiful theater in Boulder, Colorado, on Friday, May 13th. Do you want to come out the week before? Whatever you want, but if 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 you can, that'd be okay, great. Okay. So May 13th is Boulder. So May 12th is pointless because that's the day before. So we'll do May 5th. Okay. So. That'd there be great. Yeah, May, May, Friday the 13th, May, in Boulder, Colorado, a beautiful 800-seat uh, theater. And you can go to harlanwilliams.com to get all the info. And then I, I don't, I'm scared about your website. I think it's fake or it's probably, smart-ass. probably. Hey, dumbass, why'd you come here? Yeah. <laughs> end up at, go click on my link, end up at Dairy Queen with a priest. <laughs> Sponsored by Jiffy Loop. <laughs> <laughs> but I want to promote, look what I'm wearing. Did you see this? You got this on camera. What camera am I on here? I'll move this. So, Gary, I draw my own T-shirts. I draw right on the shirt directly with Sharpie, and I sell my hand-drawn T-shirts at Harland Williams uh, at uh, harbling.com. And this really? is death eating his favorite breakfast cereal, Life. <laughs> Harbling.com. And I have all these hand-drawn shirts. And I sell the original. But then if, we, if someone buys the original, we sell prints of the other one. So you can check that out at Harbling.com. And my stand-up comedy dates at uh, HarlanWilliams.com. And I just started my own podcast that you're going to come on called The Harlan Highway on YouTube. I'm scared. I'm the Harlan scared. Highway Podcast. I'm scared to come on yours. <laughs> you are? <laughs> yeah. I don't know what I'm walking into. <laughs> oh, there'll be no walking. You'll be laying right down immediately, <laughs> parrot teeth. <laughs> you drew that for real? I really drew that. Yeah, there's my signature. See, Harlan. That's pretty good. Yeah, I draw, I'm, I'm an artist. And so it's, I, it's so... Um, Detail, with yeah. the bones coming off the hand. Yep, I'm an artist, and uh, so I, I love, because I'm all about, you know, everyone nowadays, they wear brand names, they wear logos, and I thought, I want to offer people something original and fresh. And I will say one thing about the Life cereal. Yes. It looks like a mix of Life and Cookie Crisp. Interesting. But normally I don't reference anything to do my shirts. I just work from memory. Okay. But because I don't really eat this... I actually pulled up a picture from Google and copied it exactly. Okay. So unless well, Google Google's and the internet are all stupid. retards, Gary, yeah. <laughs> looks like they win this round, sunshine. <laughs> We're going to have... <laughs> it's going to be like, Helen Keller people are going to come after me, uh, the blind people that kick ass... That'd be funny if some blind. They don't like, exist. But you know, it'd be funny if like, like this some blind, random blind organization came after me and we're like this. No. Then uh, kill fifty people. Yeah, prove it. Prove it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we can do anything you can do. Do it. What I've learned, Gary, and I'll end on this because this is a good story. Everyone should be included in the comedy loop. When I was starting in stand-up comedy, I was probably in my second year and I was still nervous and I was still getting going. And I was doing a, 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 like a one-nighter, a cheesy one-nighter, but it was packed, full of 300 people. And I like to talk to the crowd. And I'm talking to the crowd, and I talk to this one guy in the front row, and I'm going back and forth. I'm probably three-quarters of the way through my show. And I'm goofing with this guy, and as I'm talking to him, I go, I look down, I go, I see a dog on the floor. And I go, why is there a dog under your table? And the guy goes, I'm blind. And this was real. In my head, I went, oh, oh, okay, sorry. And I moved away. I took the mic and I walked to the... And as I was walking away, I go, why am I doing this? Why am I leaving the blind guy? Yeah. And in my head, all I could hear was people with disabilities or handicap. All you ever hear is, we want to be treated the same. Mm -hmm. And so you know what I did? I learned such a big lesson that I, I walked right back to the guy and I go, 
hey, buddy. I, and I told him what I, what I was thinking. I said, all I've ever heard is handicapped people always wanted to be treated the same. And I walked away from you. And I feel bad about that. And then I said, how long you been blind? How did you go blind? blind? And I did about two minutes of jokes with the guy. And he loved it. And I learned on that night, never stray away from anybody because you think you're hurting them bring them into the comedy because you want them to be part of the humor. You're not, you're not being malicious. Yeah, that's You're the having thing. fun. If you're being malicious and cruel... That's different. That's different. But in, in, in the instance of excluding anyone from... And that's what's happening a lot today. You know, if you mention anyone who's trans or pre off they immediately think you're attacking them. But yeah. what they should remember is that we're trying to include everyone. I said it... It's funny you say that. I say not to get deep at the end of the episode. No, we really shouldn't. But I always say that. Not like your priest. Like, <laughs> I'm starting to get it. <laughs> like this. I'm starting to get it. Get the dilly bar. <laughs> no, I always say, if I'm not talking about you, that means I feel sorry for you. Or I feel like I might be better than you. Right. If I'm not, if I am talking about you, that means, hey, we're all the same. Like right. you said, we're all in this Comedy circle, come yeah. on in. Let's make fun of each other. And if they say don't talk about that, then the opposite of that is exclusion. And exactly. you're ex now you're excluding a certain group, whether it's an ethnic group right. or a sexual group or whatever it is. So when are you um, going to cut your cock off? Uh, that happened about four <laughs> weeks ago during a lawnmower accident. But lucky for me, I know a guy in retail and he's going to sew it back on for me. <laughs> Right. This has not this been is easy. It. This is it. We're gone. This is last. Of the <laughs> There's the one more thing okay. before we go. <laughs> you ready? Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> Goodbye, Gary. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>